this pre-calculus, we're working on some topic for uh, practice assessment. This is the second set of three problems from the um, from the prove the identity uh, section. Uh, this section right here, prove the identity. So let's do these. Um, like I said before, one good really thing to do, one really good thing to do when you're doing these is just convert everything that you can into uh, sine and cosine. So looking at this first one. Secant is 1 over cosine, and the sine that's in the denominator is already in terms of sine. And these are already in terms of, of sine and cosine. <laughs> uh, that was supposed to be a cosine. Um, another just thing to try when you're doing these is if you have some uh, fractions that are being combined, subtracted or multiplied, do it and just see, see where you end up. So I'm going to try and subtract these fractions. I notice that this fraction, this is really just like this whole thing over one, already has a denominator of cosine times sine. This has just the denominator of cosine. So I'm gonna give it a common denominator with the other one. I'm gonna multiply it by, by one, but dressed up as sine over sine. So now they have a common denominator. So now I have one over uh, cosine x times sine x minus sine times sine is sine squared x. Uh, and there's no minus in here. These are multiplied together. So they have a common denominator. So that means now I can do that subtraction. 1 minus sine squared over cosine times sine. And another thing to look for is uh, Pythagorean identities. If you have a sine squared or cosine squared and a 1, you're in good shape. We, we know that um, sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. And so notice on, on this one, if I subtract sine squared from both sides, 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. So this is just a cosine squared over cosine times sine. And now I can do some of this division. This cosine would divide out one of those cosines. Cosine squared is cosine times sine. I'm left with cosine over sine, which is cotan. That one's proven. All right, so let's give this this next one a try then. Secant minus cosine. Let's see if that's, we can get that equal to sine times tangent. So secant is 1 over cosine. Cosine is cosine. But I'm going to make it a cosine over 1 because now I have fractions that I can try and combine with that subtraction. So this already has a denominator cosine. I want this one to have the same one. So I'm going to multiply by that version of 1, get a common denominator. Now I have 1 over cosine minus cosine squared x over cosine. Common denominator, so I can do the subtraction. Uh, 1 minus cosine squared. And this is looking a lot like the last problem. Um, notice back in this relationship, if I were to subtract cosine squared from both sides, 1 minus cosine squared is sine squared. So I can rewrite this as sine squared over cosine. I can see the tangent in there. Sine squared is sine times sine. So I can think of this as sine x multiplied by sine x divided by cosine of x. And sine x over cosine x is tangent. So that becomes a tangent. And I just have that sine. So uh, sine x times tangent x. And that one's proven. All right, next one. Uh, last one in this little group. Cotangent plus tangent equals cosecant times secant. Let's see if we can't make that happen. Cotangent is uh, the reciprocal of tangent. It's like, it's like 1 over tangent. So I could write this as uh, cosine over sine plus, and tangent is reciprocal, reciprocal of cotangent. So I'm going to do this one as um, sine over cosine. And now I have a couple fractions I want to add together. They have different denominators. So I need to make them have the same denominator. So I'm going to multiply this one by this version of 1, cosine over cosine. Multiply this one by this version of 1, sine over sine, so that now I'll have a cosine sine in the denominator. So the first one, cosine times cosine, is cosine squared. The next one, cosine times sine. Sine times sine is sine squared. Oh, this is looking good. It's pushing me towards Pythagorean identity. Um, 
notice now I can add these fractions since they have this common denominator of cosine times sine. Cosine times sine. So it's uh, cosine squared plus sine squared. That whole thing's a one. That's what the this identity says. So this is one over cosine times sine, which is the same as one over cosine times one over sine, which is exactly what this is, cosecant, secant. I don't want a comma in there. It's silly. All right, there is that one. There's my, there's my solution to that third one.